soon now, and Sneaky's having a little bit of trouble. As bad as this looks in the mid lane. Oh! This is it. close. Yeah, see how this close! Wow, that was very aggressive from Prali. Medios in the right place at the right time. Kez couldn't even get in the initiation. Right of Cloud9, giving about a thousand gold lead. They, whoa! Dragon's Descent, some quick sixes here in the top uh, lane. They're fighting uh, back and forth. I don't know if West Rice really wanted to do that. Dragon's Descent in. Will help, but you're not going to crit with but any damage. Like this. Oh, Levit Nation. Oh, yeah. Okay. I was going <laughs> to say, it almost worked, but they ping pong back and forth, and he does get himself a kill. So maybe he can just finish the item immediately. Yeah. Definitely not getting out of a mistake early game on Cloud9. Held solid here. Probably once again going in hard, but he kind of waits on this one, making sure they have the initiation that they want. And that was very good control and not yeah. going too hard just for balls. They go too far in, Medios would have been able to turn. No. And they were very respectful of the Eve. They didn't use any of their cooldowns, but they did get the ultimate of balls. Probably though sticking around too long. Oh, that's exactly what they were worried about. You think about it, it's definitely gonna happen. A few more hate spikes, the flash happens. But it's also gonna be the rotation here coming from the middle lane. High throws down the Mega Inferno. Kaz getting hit up. He flashes into the wall. One more hate spike. The repels bringing him only to the few minions that are near. Great job, Balls. Getting the kill. Just like old times for Cloud9. What just happened? That too. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> getting back to the bottom lane, though. Balls and Meteos just winning out in the one. They get an uncontested dragon. And they're actually after this going to be a head on goal by a hundred in Cloud9's favor. They do not have the ward control though. And here's a fight. Robert X Lee jumps straight into the fight. Flashes out a soul shackle, the teleport coming in. Balls on the backside. Are they gonna be able to stop him? Cannot crowd control under the turret. The crescendo was already used. He has free reign in that area. And Complexity is now trying to backtrack to take out Balls. Robert X Lee is forced to rocket jump over the wall. Balls in another 1v1 situation. The other one. It's kind of, we mentioned it a little bit before, they're both just fight teams. Nobody has that uh -oh. poke. It's got to go. be right in the middle. Where's the Mega Inferno Bomb coming in? It's actually down. High is going to be hit up. The Soul Shackle's not enough to peel the fight. Kez puts himself in a good spot. A flash from Brawley to save that. Tries to get the ult down. Last breath not working. The shots from Robert X. Oh, oh, he gets headshot on the way in. Or it was just a crit. But the red buff now on to Sneaky. The power cord coming out from Bubba Dub in his stash. And it's going to be Meteos and Balls running for the hills. Oh. Oh my god. Out of there in just a few. Sneaky could get a headshot over the backside, but it's just too dangerous. The smite goes to Kaz. A very close peacemaker, however, from Sneaky. And Cloud9 watches Baron yeah. go to, to tr attempt to combo with Yasuo. Oh. That was nice. Oh my god. Again, gosh. again, West Rice is just on full initiation mode. Sneaky doesn't even get a chance to breathe along with Lemon Nation. They're down instantly. And just off on the side, Meteos has to walk this hard for Cloud9. Yeah, really using the Sona sustain to their advantage and punishing Cloud9 for having none. Second inhibitor down for complexity. What a great play of the competition. Oh no. Going down, Elimination goes in. That's a great soul shackle. Is it enough chaos to create a opportunity for Cloud9? There's a kill from Medios. It's going to be a very chaotic fight. Robert X Lee, a dodge there out in the ace of the hole. Very nice shutdown coming from him, and it looks like it's high and sneaky to clean up. Balls is still there as he home guards. A loose cannon, but Cloud9 get initiated on. Goes. He's still not going. Get crowd, tro crowd controlled up. Robert X Lee, they're letting Baron regen them a little bit. Full shot there! Oh, he gets knocked down. One more bomb over the wall, but he jumps the wall. Rocket jump keeping him safe. Yeah. Much yeah. ease in the base. Three inhibitors down. Cloud9 tried their initiation. They couldn't make it. And now it might be too late when the super minions arrive beforehand. The fight. Almost one Nexus turret. Meteos can't even get in for a good Agony's embrace. He's forced back to the fountain immediately. That's the ultimate. And the follow-up from Prowley once again. The competition easily comes to fruition for complexity as they wait it out. They're going to be on the Nexus. A 37-minute game to take down Cloud9. They're getting hit up quite hard. A lot of chaos. And they cut off eight minutes from their first game beating Cloud9 to do it again. Sometimes that's just the way the cookie crumbles. What is going on here in the North American LCS complexity? Man, another win over Cloud9 as they try and move up in these standings. And they try new things. Yeah. Tristana Sona in the bottom lane, bringing back the Yasuo for Prowling. Wow. If there was one thing that stood out in this game between both teams, it was their willingness to take risks because Cloud Complexity kept taking shot after shot. Westrise kept flying in. 
Robert X Lee kept rocket jumping, flash initiations, and Cloud9 was just standing still, waiting for Complexity to hit them yeah. instead of taking their own shots. And there were a lot of things that Complexity made you tilt your head at. Yeah. You never thought they would be able to come back from, but it didn't tilt them at all. No. They just knew they needed to get to that point where, as you said, Insect X Lee was jumping in with rocket jump and buster yeah. shotting people into the fight. I mean, I gotta give some credit too to a guy that a lot of people yeah. didn't know existed right there. Oops. Cloud Nine's analyst and coach because they had a team composition and they withstood the historic Cloud Nine under the barrage, which didn't really seem there in this game. And boy, was their composition well synergized late game. Lucian going through all the way on this one too. An interesting yep. champion select fact. Very interesting to see Robert X. Lee just pick that Tristana right out the gate. So we've seen two Tristana.